Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the two things that I really wish I had known before I went into surgery so I could have prepared for them a little bit better. Firstly, how vulnerable I felt when I was recovering from surgery. This definitely weighted heavily on my mental health and I found it took a lot of strength to overcome. I constantly felt paranoid and weaker until I could regain full strength in my body. I was constantly feeling that if something bad were to happen to me, I'd be really hopeless. And that's a feeling that I really don't like to have because I try to be strong and prepared for everything. And I mean, it is really silly because I went to Thailand by myself and I was really able to have everything done that I wanted, but in the moment when I would not feel my strength, I would definitely come crashing down. But luckily that really only lasted for two months and my life began back to normal relatively quickly. And the second thing that I was not really expecting when I had my surgery was the cost of my aftercare. So I tried to plan for every part of my surgery. I tried to budget for everything that I wanted, extra surgeries, maintenance, trips, travel, food, everything that would give me the best surgical experience and the surgical results. But I was not conscious and I didn't even really consider how much aftercare would cost. The cost of aftercare for my SRS surgery was another thing that I definitely really wasn't prepared for consciously thinking of when I had my surgery. When you recover from surgery, you have to dilate it's an, basically, the, if you don't understand, that means that you keep the area clean and the vaginal canal open so that it doesn't heal or shrink down in size during your recovery process. So for me, dilating requires a lot of tools like cleaning supplies to keep it the area clean. But this is something that I was not even conscious of. Even though I knew people would talk about the horrors of dilating, I was not conscious of how much it would cost to actually do. And when I broke it down, stuff like buying betadine, an antiseptic solution, that would go through pretty quickly, would be more than like $10 a month. Buying rubber gloves could easily be $15 a month. Buying condoms, I got mine in bulk, can be $50 to $60 a month, depending on how much you dilate. And all of those costs would multiply depending on your session. I was able to save a little bit of money buying some of my aftercare products online and even importing some of them. This is QC Lube. This is what I get from Thailand. And I had a little bit of a life hack that because maybe it's because I'm a hairdresser, but you can get color keys or some people use them for toothpaste as well or paint. And if you put them on the end of the lube bottle, you're able to control the amount that you use. And because I used a water-based lube, it definitely made it a lot cleaner and less messy. The one thing that I did to save money was at the very beginning of my process, I used silicone based dilators that I was able to wash and that did not require the use of condoms. So I was able to cut out that price every month because of that. There was a few other small expenses that I was able to get rid of, but that was the one thing that I really wasn't prepared for. I definitely estimated that 
during my recovery, it was probably in the beginning, it was probably about 200 to $300 in aftercare supplies that I'm glad I now spend less than $100 a month or maybe even less than that now. And that was just definitely an expense that I wasn't thinking about even needing to worry about. Even though it's not really a lot of money, if you're not working right when you recover from your surgery because you've just taken a month off, it can definitely be a shock when you have to go back because it was just something that I wasn't even prepared for, even thinking that you had to pay for. It was just like, oh, that's easy, just soap and water. And it's a lot more intense than just open water. But I do have a video fully on my dilation that's on my transgender playlist. And I don't really have much else to add to this video. So thank you for watching and welcome all of my new subscribers. And I will see you next week. Bye for now. If you want to catch my content between uploads, feel free to check the links in my description for my Twitter feed, Snapchat, and Instagram.